Hey everybody. Uh, so far you guys have sketched out a design for your page and you've downloaded uh, some content and maybe you've actually started making the HTML but some of you have run into the problem of well it's kinda hard to make your site look uh, the way you sketched it out. And what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to use divs and understand the CSS box model to make that a bit easier. Uh, what you'll notice is um, on my page, for instance, um, I've got a whole bunch of paragraphs. I've got some photos. I've got some H2s and this navbar and this H1 up here, some links on the side. Um, that's another list. And uh, you'll notice that some of this stuff goes together, right? Like the band biography section, I really want everything kind of this this whole section goes together. I want the photos and the link text and these photos to all kind of go inside of this part. And I want the main uh, site welcome to go here. Uh, so rather than uh, styling all of the paragraphs and the photos here, uh, what would be easier is if I could put it all inside of one container to kind of organize it. And that's what divs are. What divs are is they're just kind of an organizational principle. Like it's kind of saying like this stuff goes together, right? So uh, creating a div is actually really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Um, first, let's take a look at my site. As you can see, I've got uh, all of the HTML uh, taken care of. I don't have the words yet, so I went to that HTML Ipsum site that I told you about, um, Lorem, Lorem Ipsum, Ipsum, pardon me, and I copied some stuff in there so that it would kind of look realistic. I've got these paragraphs of text like I would write. And I've got a couple of images and stuff like that, but no style. So um, if you take a look at the HTML, you'll see... Yeah, I've got my HTML, my head, the link to the CSS file, my H1s, my paragraphs, my images, just like you would expect. What I want to do is I want to take the three main sections that I've got right now and I want to put them all in divs. So I'm going to put this band biography in a div because everything in that biography section goes together. I'm going to put the welcome in a div and I'm going to put the banner in a div. So all I have to do uh, is type div and then I'm going to give it an ID. Each div should have an ID so that you can position it, right? So you can make it move somewhere and so you can apply style to it. Because if you didn't give it an ID, um, then it, everything you did would apply to all divs and that wouldn't work so well. So I'm going to do div ID equals and I'm, I can name it whatever I want, but I'm going to pick a name that makes sense to me. Do main top banner because it's the top banner on the main page. And then I close my div tag. And there, I just created a div. If I click on here, you can see that's the div. Uh, and one of the things I want to do in order to make it easier for me to see what's inside of the div is tab my uh, text over. So I'm going to do the same thing on the next se section. I'll do div ID equals and I'll do main welcome and then close the div tag out down here and then I will select this text and hit the tab key on my keyboard and now I can see pretty easily okay all that stuff is in a div now same for the next section div ID equals uh, main bio and then kind of scroll down to the bottom Oops and close my div tag and then select all of this text in the middle uh, except for the final closing div and hit the tab key and now it's really easy to see all of the stuff that's in my divs so I'm going to save and I'm going to go to my page and reload it and hey look it didn't change divs don't actually make any changes on the page all they do is they are containers for things so that you can use CSS to add style separately. So you can put all that stuff in divs and it's not going to affect the way anything looks until you go into CSS. So now that we've got that taken care of, I want to talk a little bit about the CSS box model. Um, divs allow you to more easily put things in a box, right? But in actuality, uh, all of your elements 
really you can think of as being in a box. It's kind of what the CSS box model is all about. So your paragraphs, your, um, your div tags, your tables, your H1s, um, your unordered lists, they're all in boxes. And the way to think about it is by taking a look at this little graphic here. Um, you've got kind of four sections. You've got the content section, which is in the very middle here. This is where your words or your images are, right? So if I have this paragraph here that starts with lorem ipsum, all of this is um, the content section. Right, we can take a look here. This is the content, the highlighted section. Back here, after that, outside of the content, you can put padding in there. And what that does is it puts some space between the content and the border. Now, um, you don't always have to have padding. Uh, and in fact, you don't always have to have a border either. You guys know that you can turn a border on so that you put a border around your elements, but it doesn't have to be there. But if you do have a border there, then you can add padding to put some space between um, your words or images and the border. Then you've got the border, and that can be on or off, and it can be dotted or it can be a straight uh, line. And then on the other side of the border is a margin. Now, what a margin does is it separates the border from um, other elements. So it kind of separates elements from each other. So here, um, if I had uh, this picture here and this H1, the margin is kind of the space in between them. So I, if I added more margin to this image, uh, it I could uh, create more space so it would be further away from this H2, right? So it's a little hard to, um, to visualize, so you might, I'm going to show you a couple of examples and you can also check out the W3Schools CSS box model section for a bit more information if it's easier for you to read about it than to watch this video. So let's get to actually creating some CSS. Now what I'm going to do to help you visualize this is I'm going to um, put background colors on everything so you can see the boxes really easily, including the body. So that's what I'm going to start with. Let's say body, and I'm going to make that background color. Uh, pink. And then I'm going to take my main top banner. Remember, every time you use an ID selector, you have to use the hashtag. So hashtag main top banner. And then do a background color of yellow green. And then I will do hashtag main welcome to use an ID selector on that div and give it a background color of cadet blue. And then I'll do main bio, that's my last div. And I'll give it a background color of tomato. So if I save this and refresh, I should see, there it is, a whole bunch of different background colors. So here's my pink background color for the body my yellow green for the main uh, top banner, my cadet blue for the welcome, and my tomato for the bio. You can see that pink body one goes all the way around the outside because unless you adjust it, all of this stuff has to be uh, inside of the body so that you can see a little bit of the body. So after looking at this and looking back at my um, image, I say like, I kind of want this stuff to be not so close to the edge. I kind of don't mind with the top banner. I kind of think that should stretch across the top, but this stuff I want to be closer to the edge, not so close to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these two divs, the main welcome and the main bio inside of a single div because I kind of want them to be together on the page. And you can put divs inside other divs. It's really easy. All you have to do is do what you did before. Div ID equals main middle. Uh, that's what I'm going to call this particular div. And then come all the way down uh, below the last closed div tag and close it. And once again, I am going to select all the stuff that's between this div and hit tab. So it's easy for me to see. 
this div and this div are inside of this div. And I'll save it. And then I will add uh, some CSS here. I'm going to say main middle is going to have a background color of gold. And I'm also going to say that it's going to be 900 pixels wide. And uh, I think I want to give it some padding so you can see what padding looks like. So I'll say 20 pixels worth of padding. And I'll save it and refresh. And here's my gold color. And here are my two divs that are inside of uh, the other, the main middle div, right? So now they are together. And if I move this to the left or to the right, they all kind of move as a unit. But this one isn't affected, right? It's still wider than these guys, which is what I wanted. Now, let's say I wanted to be, I wanted this to be in the center though, right? Not on the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that um, margin left is auto, margin right is auto. So I can say, what that's saying is that just um, have the left and right margins um, automatically calculated, and that'll stick it right in the middle, no matter how wide it gets, how narrow. See, it's always going to stay in the middle. And that's precisely what I wanted. So just by creating that one div, I only had to do that work one time, and these guys uh, were both affected by it, right? And that's all there is to it. Um, I can show you uh, a, a few more things about the way um, padding and borders work. For instance, let's go to this main top banner. Um, I want this to be a little bit more like a banner, so I want it to be bigger, and I want this to be in the middle. So I will apply a text align center property to it, and I will want it to be um, height, oh, let's say it's going to be 80 pixels. If I save this and refresh, you'll see, okay, so this is wider. But now it's bumping up against the main middle div, and this text is um, kind of at the top. So what I can do is I can say, let's give it a margin so that there's space between this one, this div, and the main middle div. So if I say um, margin bottom is 10 pixels and save, Look, it created a little bit of pink, a little bit of space there, so that they're not bumping right up against each other. So that's what a margin will do. It separates the two divs from each other. But I also want some padding between this text and the top here. So what I can do is I can say padding top, and let's say it's 20 pixels. If I save and hit refresh, do you see how it pushed that down a bit? That's actually probably more padding than I want, so I'm going to lower it down to 15 pixels and refresh, and that's a little bit better. Maybe I'll do 12 pixels and refresh. Ah, that looks about right. I, maybe I could even get away with 10, I don't know. But you see there that what it's doing is it's pushing that text away from the top. That's what the padding does, is it pushes the content away from the border. Now you can't see the border right now, but it's there. If I type border and then do a colon and say, uh, let's call it a one pixel solid red border and refresh, you can see there's a red border around it. Maybe if I did a different color, it'd be easier to spot. So let's try cyan. Okay. So you can see there's the border, and if I change the padding to 5 pixels, you'll see that the text gets closer to the border, yeah? There. So um, you don't have to put all of these things in for the border. For instance, um, I could 
not put in a color and it would just be the color of the text. It would be black. And I could not put in um, one pixel and it would just automatically default to a certain size. You can uh, check all out all of your options on W3 Schools. So um, that's a good start. There's other stuff I can do here, like I'm going to copy in all of my CSS. I pre-did all of this so that you could see what the final product would look like at the end of the day. Uh, some of the things I did were I um, added an ID to the pictures so that I could change their height so that they'd be a little smaller. And I gave them some margins so they wouldn't be right on the edge like they are right now. And I put a border, a dotted border around one of them and a background color around one of them. Um, let's see what else did I did. Did I do? I made the H2s centered so that it was easy to see that. Um, that's mostly what I did. And if I refresh it, you see, look, there I've got the picture here with the text kind of flowing around it the way I wanted to. I've got a dotted border around this picture. You'll see I put a background color on the picture. That doesn't show up unless you add padding. With padding, you can see the background color. Without padding, you won't see it. Uh, and I made this text white. This is all stuff that you know how to do. Um, so that's the CSS, CSS box model in a nutshell. And that's how you can use divs to make things look a little bit better. Now, uh, later on, I would want to add my navigation. And I'd want to add, let's see, I had another section to my links section, right? What I would probably do is I'd probably add two more divs. Or maybe I would put my navigation in with this top banner div and do it along the top and then just do one more div along the side but anyway um, if you have any questions check out the w3 schools or ask me or some of the people in the room who are already using divs uh, your challenge now is to uh, start thinking of which sections in your site kind of go together and put them inside of a div in order to help you organize the site a bit best of luck guys